Where's that tape? Oh, tape. Oh, there you are. I swear, I'm always losing everything. Maybe Mr. J is right. No. I can handle this. Okay. Let's see here. We just got to make it really tight. There we go. A little tighter. I'd like to try to see and get out of that. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. All right. Easy does it. I think it's about time that they wake up. Hey, you. Wakey, wakey. Wake up. Yo, rise and shine. Let's go, sleeping beauty. There we go. Wake up. Wakey, wakey. There we go. Can you see me? Good, 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 good. I'll give you a moment to come to. Nice and slow. Okay. There we go. You know, didn't your mother ever teach you? It's not very gentlemanly to keep a lady waiting. <laughs> Though, something tells me you don't have much manners anyway. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Did my friend here scare you? As he should. You see, a little birdie told me that. He told a certain big boss some important information about me. You know, that wasn't very neighborly of you. Oh. You know who I'm talking about, Puddin. Roman, light bulb, yeah. So, I'm gonna need you to tell me what you told him. Can't remember? Well, we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the fun way. I'll leave that up to you. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> oh. oh, okay. It's the tape. My bad, my bad, that's my fault. Let me get that for you. Ooh. Yeah, I probably could have handled that better. Did that smart? Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. I'll give you a moment. Feeling better? Okay. I'm new to this whole interrogation thing, so. Okay. Anyways, 
I'm gonna need you to tell me what you told him. You see, I have some very important people after me, so kind of want to get a leg up on him if you know what I mean. You know, I don't like that you're not cooperating with me, Doc. I thought we were friends. And then you went behind my back like that. So, I'm gonna need you to start remembering. Your head's feeling a little foggy. I guess that could be after effects of the sedative I gave you to get you here. Okay. Not a problem, not a problem. I have something here that should help with that feeling of the sedative. Yeah, kind of like an antidote. I'll give you a couple drops. Okay, let me just open it up here. Go ahead and stick out your tongue like this. Yeah, say, ah, real big for me. Okay. And there we go. And you should start to feel that pretty quickly. What? It burns? Oh, I hope I grabbed the right bottle. Yeah. I keep the antidote very close to the poison bottle. Yeah, um, do your lips feel numb? No? Oh, okay, good, good, good. I grabbed the right one then. Should probably label those. My bad. Okay. We'll let that kick in for a second. Hopefully your memories start to come back. While we wait, let me just take a look at your eyes here. Go ahead and look at me. And I just want to make sure that they dilate. Good, good. It looks like it's working. Okay. Yeah, I think you'll be okay. Yeah, I don't mean to do things like this, Doc. Again, I thought we were friends, but you sold me out. And I gotta protect myself. So, why don't you tell me what you told him? What about Mr. J? You told him that we broke up? Did you tell him the truth? That I broke up with him? Well, the breakup was mutual. Oh yeah? The Ace Chemical Factory burnt down? That's a shame. Oh, the same day that we broke up? Yeah, that is a coincidence. Well, what makes you think I did that? Well, you didn't see me there, you got no proof. <laughs> but I see. So they think because I'm not with Mr. J that I'm an easy target? I'll show them. The day that they underestimated Harley Quinn. Oh, shh, 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 shh. No struggling. We still got a lot to talk about. I want to just make that restraints a bit tighter. 
Hold on one second. There we go. Just got to make it a little tighter. Don't want you going anywhere. Not before we've had a little fun. <laughs> okay. Nice and tight. <laughs> Oh, it's a little tight. I'm sorry, but if you cooperate, I'll let you go. I don't want to hurt you, Doc. I just want to help myself. You see, I'm in some pretty rough waters with some pretty bad people. Okay? So, I just want to know what you told them. And if you help me, I can guarantee you'll be okay. So. Okay. I see. Yeah. I got a lot going on, Doc. I overheard Roman talking about a diamond. And I said I'd get it. Do you know anything about it? Where it is? Why do I get the feeling you're lying to me? Oh. Like I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. Not if you cooperate. Just try and relax. Gum? No. You're missing out. I love this stuff. I love that it pops and crackles. Kind of like people when you hit them. Mm, so good. All right, where were we? Listen. You tell me word for word exactly what you told them about me and I can help you. You don't tell me. Well, I can't guarantee your safety. I'll let you think on that. I'm just going to get a couple measurements here. Okay, looks like it's about eight. Yeah, from ear to ear. Looking at like about, okay. Kind of like Dumbo. Yeah. 
tall man, Doc. And what's right here? Oh, Doc. Well endowed, or you're just happy to see me. Huh? And. Okay, good, good, good. What am I doing? Just getting your measurements for your coffin. Well, I don't mean to scare you, Doc, but. You may have sold me out, but these are some bad people, and I can assure you they'll come looking for you. So, go ahead and tell me what you know, and I'll take care of you. Okay. I see. So I can find the diamond there. Okay. Okay, good. Good, good, good. See, that wasn't so hard, was it, Doc? <laughs> All right. We gotta go ahead and change up your appearance a bit. That way they don't recognize you. Let me grab something. We're going to go ahead and cut your hair. Well, I'm not a hairstylist, Doc. But we'll give you a haircut, change up your appearance a bit, and hopefully you blend in. But I suggest getting far out of here. Yeah, it's going to get messy here. Okay. Let's see here. Hold still. Taken off just a little too much. No big deal. They definitely won't recognize you now. Okay. Other side. Maybe we can just kind of comb that over a bit. Yeah. Yeah, can't even tell. You look great. Never better. I'm a natural. Okay. We'll go ahead and put on a little makeup. Well, of course you need a little makeup. We gotta make your face look different. Well, that's offensive. My makeup is great. Just for that, I'm going to give you a unibrow. Hold still. Okay. There we go. Just going to brush that on. Brush, 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 brush. And then you just gotta work on your wardrobe. I mean, you're welcome to try on some of mine, but I don't think it's gonna look right. Let me just get a little more here. And we're just going to brush that on. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, 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 brush. brush. 
really not happy that you gave him that information about me, Doc. But I can't say I don't blame you. You gotta look after yourself. If being with Mr. J taught me anything, it's that I gotta take care of myself. You look great. Okay. So, we did your hair, fixed your face. Not that it was broken to begin with, but you know what I mean. And now we just need to get you a new look. Oh, you like my necklace? Thanks. I put it on there after that hunky Bruce guy. Yeah. Glad you like it. First thing I treated myself to after Mr. J. All right. I'm gonna let you go, Doc. Try not to be telling anybody else any more information about me, okay? And I do hope we see each other again soon. But right now, I gotta go take me down a big boss. So, wish me luck.